Oh, hi everybody. Today we're going to take apart a laptop. There we go. Kinda. A Fujitsu Siemens. Espirimo. Let's try that light off. Because it was so much better. S Pirama Mobile. Not that you can see. Model V 5535. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me. I have to apologise for my working area. This camera, as I've probably stated many times, is not the best. So, forgive me. What we shall begin with? We shall remove the hard drive. I have no idea how long this is going to take. The last time I stripped it down, I wasn't recording the video. Hard drive, simple as. Serial ATA, push thumbs, move over, lift out. And I'm running it with... An 80 gigabyte Samsung. Uh, yeah, just an 80 gig Samsung. Nothing special there. Which was out of my PS3. Keep that to one side. Next. Mine hasn't got any screws, however, there should be one, two, three, and four screws located on the heatsink cover. So as such I can just prop that up and I shall remove the ramp which is found straight away here if it wants to play a ball. There we are. And I shall Leave the wireless card in for the moment. And the fan. Right. We now have one, two, CD drive screw, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine screws. If I haven't counted any twice, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it should be ten. So next, we shall remove the optical drive. firm movements and she comes out like a charm right I shall remove the back button screws If we want to come out. Many may have noticed already straight away I have a magnetized screwdriver. Which makes life easier. Get my flathead. The very bottom two screws, I also forgot there is an 11th screw in the hard drive bay right here. One. 
which isn't going to play ball for the minute. Now many of you probably wonder, well, what do you do with the screws and everything and they'll all fall out and get knocked out and well, whenever I do take a laptop apart I try and leave at least the main screws in the same order sat down somewhere, which right now I'm sitting them to the side. Slightly condensed version, but Yeah, slightly condensed version of the actual screw layout on the laptop. That way, you'll never forget which ones go where. Or at least that's the theory. I've done that many a time and gone, oops. Luckily enough, this laptop, they're all pretty much the same size screw. Uh, you may be lucky and not have these rubber bits on yours anymore. Or you may still do. And removing them is always a pain in the ass. Especially when they're still slightly sticky. Now, many of you may be wondering, well, why have you decided to do a video on this? Quite frankly because I couldn't find one on YouTube to take a look at the power adapter because on mine the power adapter is dodgy. Simply because whoever used to own this laptop probably always had it plugged in. So now it does work on the mains but only at a certain angle which is no good to me. Last screw up. So that's all your screws out from there. One, two, three, four. Uh, sorry about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then eleventh for the CD screw. On the back, which is kind of hard to see, I apologise for this crap lighting. There is a screw on the left and right of the hinge. I'm going to be leaving them alone for a minute just till I sort of remember myself how I, how I opened it up. Son of a bitch just cut me. Now, I think it was right. right. So I'll undo those two hinge screws. Again, apologies for the camera position and everything, but not the best digital camera in the world. Trying to find a position that's at least good enough to see roughly where things are is better at least than nothing. Right. I shall pry pry the two back parts up. Now I shall open the lid. Hopefully, one part should lift off. There we are. Now. To remember. Yep. Yep, 
it requires a bit of force you don't have to undo the screws that's just saved me a step in a minute but you have to pry the back pull the right corner or left fairly firmly pull it and just work it and it will eventually pop up which then means uh, uh, you can simply lift your keyboard and twist yeah it's got this like heat netting or something on the bottom and as if connection which is uh, trying to remember which one right, standard as if pull out I think Lift up and pull. Yeah, your zift is a lift up and pull on this connection. Freeze your keyboard. Next, there is several inner screws. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Again, apologies for the camera position, I can't see it. Because the front, if I remember correctly, pulls over an outward motion. One thing, whilst we're here, I'll pull out the touchpad. I'll put both stiff connections down, just in case. And I knew I should have done it earlier. I'll unplug the wireless card cables. <laughs> 